Right. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. Hello, everyone. I am Stephen Blum, CTO founder of PubNub. I want you today to build an AngularJS chat. I'm going to make it go as fast as possible so that way it's really easy for you. I'm really excited for you to be here. And if you have any questions, put them into the chat. We will go over the chats at the end and uh, answer any of your questions. And let's just get started. So first off, it's important that you have Node installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to node.js.org and download Node. I already have it installed in my system. Make sure you install 4.2.6. If you install 5, it won't work. It's the one that doesn't work yet. Um, but the 4.2.6 is the better dependable version. So grab that. As soon as you're done downloading it, then you'll have NPM. And so what you're going to want to do is in your terminal window, you're going to install Bower. This tutorial uses Bower. You could also use NPM to install AngularJS. That's supported today. But this tutorial is going to show you how to do it with Bower. So npm install Bower to get you up and running. Uh, you might need to run sudo with that, so that way it installs globally. Uh, let's see. And also go look at Bower install on the internet, so that way you can remember it forever. It says install Bower with npm. And its favorite install is, ah, it wants you to do that. So I currently have 177 installed. That all looks good. Everything's great. Next, go to your desktop or any directory that you like, and then make a test app directory. Move into your app directory. OK. And what we're going to do here is we're going to follow the tutorial that we put out on uh, this website here. Um, we'll paste the link to the tutorial in the comments area and later on. But uh, just go to angularjs.chat, and you can find your way there. This is the demo app that we're going to kind of get building here. You can see sort of the screen that I'm following here on my left. Um, the idea is that we want to build a simple chat app that allows our users to communicate. This is going to be a group chat, very basic, simple, single channel. The quick start is where we're going to be doing most of our work. We're going to copy and paste all of this quick step code here. Copy, copy. Make a test file, uh, we're going to call it by index.html. Paste all that code that I just copied into the index file. Oh, paste. Good. And go ahead and close that for now. Then we want to install our AngularJS module. Now I've got it here in the Bower command. It's really easy. Bower install AngularJS. Copy, copy. Paste it into your test directory for your app, and then run it. What it's going to do is going to download dependencies and everything you need, including Angular, uh, for this chat to work successfully. Hmm. And then you'll see here a Bower Components directory. It's uh, Angular and Angular Chat. So those are all the modules you need. Next, go back into your index file. And what we need to do is get our PubNub API keys. Now I'm going to walk you through this real quick. This shouldn't take more than a, a couple minutes to get. There is a link inside of here. Get PubNub API keys. Click that guy and then type in all of your information uh, and then type in the password and then that and then click the I'm not a robot looks like I'm not a robot click create account um, password must be at least eight characters long was it not didn't didn't I just do that eight characters long jazz all right let's see this let's try again let's see um, let me try a different email address. OK, create account. Um, this sucks. Do you all see this? I can't actually create an account. Your password must be eight characters, at least eight characters long. Oh, and there's extra special. Mm. All right. <laughs> Uppercase, lowercase, number, special character. OK, let's try that again. That was frustrating. All right, I did it. Okay. 
So now I've got my publish and subscribe keys. What I'm going to want to do is copy and paste those into our example chat app below where we've got our code. So I'm going to grab this one here. So publish key, and then subscribe key. Whoops. And then paste into the subscribe key section. Save it. And if all goes well, we should have a very basic demo chat app open index. Let's see if that works. All right, I don't know if it's going to work. Da, 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 da. Yes! <laughs> it worked. All right. We've successfully built a very basic demo chat app. It's a group chat. It gives you the ability to um, deploy your app and have everyone in that app chat together as long as they have your app. This is the most basic demo that you could possibly do. Obviously, one thing you might notice is that it's not pretty. It's, there's no styling, none whatsoever. It's not, it does not look like our demo app that we have on the website. It's because we didn't include any CSS with the basic chat application. If we wanted to walk through the chat code for the pretty chat, you go into uh, our GitHub repository. And you can kind of just copy and paste the GitHub URL right here, or even click it at the top of the website. Click GitHub and go into the GH Pages branch, Tutorials, App, and then here's our styles for the, for the PubNub app. That's, uh, it's very stri straightforward and simple styles. One of the cool parts about our specific demo chat app that we've got here is uh, it uses Flexbox and the modern uh, animation in CSS3, and it doesn't use any vendor specific. This is new. This is like uncommon on the internet right now. It does not use any vendor specific um, like selectors. Typically, you'll have like the hyphen WebKit or the hyphen Mozilla or the hyphen MS from Microsoft. This one doesn't do that anymore because we're in 2016. We no longer really have to do that. And uh, all the apps that you deploy using um, PhoneGap or ReactJS or Angular 2 or you name it, don't require those anymore. So it's, it's a really happy feeling that I get that we don't have to do that. And so that's pretty sweet. Um, now what I'm going to do is go to the questions to see if there are any specific questions uh, that you all asked. I'm going to scooch it over here, see if I got any questions. Have any, is anyone looking at chat to see if you actually have any questions? Um, I don't see, let's see here. OK, so it looks like we got you. So one of the, one of the questions that chats. I was asked of a little bit earlier was, how, how do you get the, ch the animations to show up when a new chat message shows up? Um, so if you go to angularjschat.com, click on the tutorial, and scroll down to the, the demo video, it sort of has the chats pop in from the side. And then, uh, depending on if it's from me or if it's from someone else, it sort of animates differently. And what we've done here is we've uh, annotated every chat message with an indicator of a user ID. And that user ID is uh, appended along with every chat message. And so when I send a message, it will also show up in my chat screen as me sending it. But I know my own user ID. So it will have um, an extra prefix inside of the uh, the view, the AngularJS view. So it'll show up differently and it has a different CSS selector on it, CSS class. Um, and if we look at our CSS here, look for the keyframes and you'll see different, uh, two different keyframes that are kind of similar. One is the received message and the sent message. So the received message is from someone else and the sent message is the message I sent and they will animate using these CSS selectors. Um, yeah, and that's it. I wanted this to be really short and quick. Uh, we hit 10 minutes here. Everything's looking good. If you have any questions, uh, check out angularjschat.com. Check out pubnum.com. We're a global data stream network. We love to make real time super easy. Uh, and yeah, ping me on Twitter. And thank you guys. Yeah. Yay. Bye bye. Goodbye. All right, now we're going away. OK. Oh, there's a question. Oh, okay. oh, oh wait, there's a question. What do you want? Infinity number of people can chat simultaneously.
<laughs> Where did you be? <laughs> yeah. Why, That's a really why, good one. Why is that? Why is it? But it's only because it's using this technology. <laughs> can't, you can't get that technology anywhere else. Yeah. By the way, it is free for you to get started. There's no cost or monies involved. Um, so if you're just developing or you want to deploy an app that is private to you and maybe between a group of friends, it's essentially pretty much free. Uh, but if you're a real business and you want to get um, into you know, building a real chat application, then it's going to cost you money and we'll tell you how much. So just give us a shout out on Twitter, PubNub, at PubNub, um, or at Stephen Obi. Yep. Is there any other questions? Oh, wait. Yep, that was it. That was... I think we're good. Yeah. Yeah. You can turn the music uh, again. Mm -hmm. I'm connected you on the Thank you, Meet. I think that's how you say your name, Meet. Uh, you are connected to me. It's nice to chat with you on the chat things. Yeah. But that's super cool. Um, Bob Nutt says so, that so you said something. Oh, there's no limit. Yeah, it's infinity. It's, it's really ridiculous. There's, there is a problem with having an unlimited number of people within a chat room, however, because it gets really noisy, and then it becomes nearly impossible to read anything on the chat window. So you might want to have some user experience adjustments accordingly. Um, one of the chat examples that does this is uh, Periscope. If y'all has ever seen a very busy Periscope, essentially there's just stuff going like crazy on the screen, and there's no way for anyone to read any of it. Um, but it's kind of cool to be a part of that. Anyway, it uh, was great. Great to see you all. Um, looks like we got good in our time. And if you have any other questions, just tweet at us, PubNub, or Stephen LB. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Actually,